Diversity TV introduces a monthly segment on real estate updates with a super realtor, Conrad Agla, a top producing realtor amongst the top 1% of realtors at his brokerage, Urban Real Estate Services Limited. And he is amongst the top 5% of all Calgary area realtors. His understanding of real estate economics and statistics market trends, market influencers, drivers, and the real estate cycle enables him to provide great information and insight to clients who use him for the purchase and all sale of their homes. He is well sought after speaker and advisor on real estate sales and finance within the immigrant community in Alberta, especially Calgary and Edmonton with recognition from real for many real estate and community organizations for his exceptional services. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? We got Conrad right here every month to share mm -hmm. with you some monthly real estate updates for today. Absolutely. It would be great for him to keep us every month informed on what's going on in the real estate world. Welcome, Conrad. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how exactly you got to this position? Uh, my name is Conrad. Uh, I came to Canada as a graduate student. I graduated, I came um, with a professional license as well as a pharmacist and I got my license. So when I got my license, I started investing in real estate and I realized I made few mistakes. So that eventually led me to get my licenses, mortgage and real estate uh, licenses. So that's how I got into it, and uh, so far I'm uh, enjoying it. So what's going on in the real estate world? Please share. Real estate is local, uh, but then we can uh, talk about what is happening in Alberta and, uh, and Canada. So uh, we've seen a shift, especially in Alberta, we've seen a shift in the market from a buyer's market to now a seller's market. Now, this seller's market too, it's uh, actually in uh, one major property class, which is the detached, uh, single family detached class. Um, the attached market is still dragging along, uh, probably in a balanced market right now, and uh, apartment condos uh, market uh, is still in a buyer's market. So uh, that's what we've seen right now, and there are a lot of factors that account for this, uh, this shift that we are experiencing now. It's wonderful. So now the, there's been talk, like you said, it is a buyer's uh, market right now and houses are booming and everybody's trying to take advantage of, of, this, uh, of this season. What would, what would you recommend to somebody who's looking for something right now to buy? What are the key things? At this point, uh, people ask me, when is the best time to buy? I said, real estate is always, every time is the best time to buy, as long as you have a plan and you have a goal. So at this time, some people who are monitoring the markets for the last few years might be wondering if we will hit a peak or if there's going to be a crash and they might want to wait. But uh, there is no need to wait. Uh, when you get into the market right now, you will begin to build equity. Uh, when we look at examine carefully the factors that are impacting the market, it's going to take a while for this market to hit that peak for even for it to get uh, into that level where we'll have a crash. So for anyone at this time, I would say, okay, do your budget. If you're a first timer, put your house in order, make sure that you can qualify for a mortgage. Majority of the time, I know that from immigrants, the challenge we have is actually our credit. Try and work on your credit, put some savings aside and make sure you keep your job. Just talk to the professionals involved, especially a mortgage broker and uh, a real estate agent they can guide you uh, just make sure you make uh, those conversations and uh, plan properly and then uh, yeah take the decision if um, it to take you a few months for you to be ready it's better you are in the known and prepare uh, than just wait and these opportunities will, will go by so my advice is yeah uh, for those people who are planning to buy or who plan to buy in future you just have to start making the preparation now for those who have properties and who are also wondering what is happening in the market yeah we do free property uh, evaluation so you can reach out to us or reach out to a, a realtor that's experienced and you know 
uh, and they can take you through the process to uh, find out how much your property might sell for in this in this market and if you intend to sell to there are things you need to do so that you can get your property sold at a top dollar um, so it doesn't sit in the market for that long uh, yeah so you just start that conversation and uh, you should be fine um so the next question we would like to ask is we obviously know that right now in covid the the whole world has changed that has all it says everyone is basically everyone's life has been turned upside down how has the real estate world been affected by covid covid has actually had a very very huge impact on the market uh covid has actually disrupted the supply chain so right now we are having one of the reasons that builders have stated for increase in prices is uh, lumber price shortage so when covid came they were locked down so people will not work uh people staying home i mean timber mills and all of those people you have to go on site to work so some of this frustration has actually slowed them down so there is a shortage of lumber right now and also to get people in these industries to work to labor costs uh, has uh, increased so these are some of the things that are impacting the, the market as a result of covid besides what we have also seen is that for people staying at home buyers or homeowners have realized that you know what we need probably a den an office living at home staying at home with kids uh, schooling or doing their homework at sc well, or schooling at online and all of that uh, it has actually re-engineered or actually has uh, made people to uh, do a rethink what do we have in a home and that has also increased some level of demand uh, that people are looking at certain types of homes or houses now to have certain features so that if it continues that they have to work at home then they should they will have those those type of uh, properties to to live in and uh, and work so there are many factors also the government has also provided support and that support actually has cushioned the economy somehow uh, businessmen or business uh, people and also uh, let's say businesses and also individuals who lost their job both in the u.s and canada there have been some support so what that is also doing is that and uh, for people who could work and still make money it has kind of created what we call the k type recovery k type recovery where there are some people who are struggling through this time and then there are some people who are financially well well off and that is also causing a pent-up demand so people who are well off they want to invest their money someone to invest in real estate someone to upgrade upsize and buy bigger houses so that is also uh, one of the factors or one of the uh, results of this uh, or impact of this COVID. There's so much uh, we could learn from you. I guess uh, if somebody is trying to build, they have to be very mindful of how the prices with the lumber going up. Maybe for some people, it's better to just buy um, a ready-made home rather than building. So Conrad, how can people get a hold of you if they want to get some inside information on how to buy the next house or tips on how to be ready to buy the next house or sell? The name is Conrad Agla. If you Google that, you'll be able to find me. But in, my number is 403-690-0809. 403-690-0809. And uh, my website, you can go to conradagla.com, conradagla.com. You can find me on Instagram, Conrad Agla Real Estate, uh, Facebook, Conrad Agla. And thank you so much for the great information. And we look forward to talking to you again next month. I'm sure you're going to have some more updates for us on what's going on in the real estate world. Thank you again, Conrad. And we will see you next month. Have a great evening.